Hi, this is Manos Brilakis presenting Case 75 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case illustrating the difficulties in selecting the optimal treatment strategy for patients referred for CTO. This patient was referred to our institution for canalizing the right coronary artery CTO. It was a patient with diabetes, 65 years old, and refractory angina despite optimal medical management. However, upon looking more carefully at the donor vessel, the left main, there appears to be some disease in the ostium of the left main. Regarding the CTO, there is a very well-defined proximal cap, and it appears to be a long occlusion with the constitution of the right coronary at the crux of the PDA and PLV. When the patient uh, came to our lab, the first thing we wanted to do is to assess that the left main was indeed non-significant. However, upon engagement, just with the six French guide, we saw severe dampening of the pressure. We had to move the guide way back and then there was normalization of the pressure. That is highly suspective of the patient having significant osteal left main disease. We proceeded to confirm that, performing fractional flow reserve to assess left main. We need to do fractional flow reserve both in the LAD as well as the circumflex. And indeed, the FFR of the LAD was 0.78, and the FFR in the circumflex was 0.1, with a step up right at the left main. We also did intravascular ultrasound, which demonstrated that the area of the left main was 5.6 mm square, suggesting severe left main disease. So now, the clinical scenario is quite different. The patient is no longer a patient with single vessel disease and uh, a right coronary CTO. Indeed, it's a patient with significant left main disease as well as right coronary CTO, who is also diabetic, young, and a good candidate for coronary bypass graft surgery. Therefore, the procedure was aborted. The patient did not undergo PCI, and he underwent successful coronary bypass with resolution of his angina. So in summary, it's important to assess completely the patient's coronary anatomy before the optimal revascularization strategy can be selected. Thank you.